Hi everyone, welcome to Much Ado About History, and today we've got another episode of Storytime with Mr. Muchler. Today's story has gotten a lot of attention in the last couple of years because of the popularity of a certain Broadway musical. But we're going to get to the bottom of this story and find out what really happened. Today's story on Much Ado About History is The Burr-Hamilton Duel. Let's go. The United States owes a great debt to Alexander Hamilton. As our first Secretary of the Treasury, his aggressive plans for putting the newly created United States on firm financial footing were brilliantly successful. If only he had been as assertive with a dueling pistol, he might have lived to a ripe old age. The headstrong Hamilton was chosen by President George Washington in 1789 to solve a host of financial problems facing the young nation. Sometimes he had to step on the toes of his political adversaries, but he always did what he thought was right and was never deterred. That's why folks gave him at least an even chance when Vice President Aaron Burr challenged Hamilton to a duel. Burr was at the end of his term as Jefferson's Vice President, and knowing that he would not be offered an encore, had decided to run for Governor of New York. Burr had the backing of most of the Federalists except Hamilton, who opposed the Vice President vociferously. Soon, criticism led to insults, and Burr issued his challenge for satisfaction. The two men and their seconds met on July 11, 1804 at Weehawken, New Jersey, across the Hudson River from New York City. Armed with pistols, they stepped off the required number of paces and turned to fire. Much to everyone's surprise, however, Hamilton stood holding his gun to his side he contemptuously refused to fire, while Burr took perfect aim. The vice president fired, and Hamilton fell, mortally wounded. Within hours, he was dead, and the nation was mourning its first secretary of the treasury. Today, most folks scratch their heads with wonder at such blatant disregard for self-preservation. But few know the real reason for Hamilton's refusal to fire. He didn't shoot because of the memory of a dead son. You see, just two years earlier, almost to the day, Philip Hamilton, Alexander Hamilton's eldest son, was killed in a duel on the very same spot where his father now faced Burr. And from that day forward, the secretary vowed that he would never again fire a gun in anger. He had to show up when Burr challenged him. His honor was at stake, but he didn't have to shoot. With the image of his slain son haunting him, Alexander Hamilton chose principle over pride and lost his life. So that's what happened. Because of the foolish and destructive practice of dueling, America lost one of its founding fathers far too early in his life. Thanks again. Until next time, have a great day.